Hello, my name is Blue Tiger, and this is beating Omori without being happy. Omori is an RPG with an emotional system where each emotion is good against one emotion and bad against another, with each emotion having its own quirk about them, with sadness being slow and bulky, anger being offensive and fragile, and happy being the speedy crit sir who misses often. If anyone in the party becomes happy, I will be forced to run away from the battle, die, or reload a save. However, I can still make the opponent happy because, while I am my biggest enemy, I am not all of them. With that out of the way, let's get into the run. Also, spoiler warning for the best ending. Welcome to White Space, where we got dem multi-purpose tissues, a diary of the potential school shooter, and a journal almost as boring as mine's. Since this is my first time playing this game, I get lost for a bit before petting a cat which causes an earthquake. We get a present from God, guess we're gonna need more tissue, and we see that we have a sad poem so cringe that we can't even bear to read it. We open a door into... Oh shit, people. Damn it, I wanted to play poker. These guys are hero, Kel, and Arby's, our imaginary friends who will remain unhappy during the duration of the run. We play hide and seek with a stuffy with a vor fetish, a snake gives us some fried clams for the picnic, we pull Arby's fat ass out of a stump, and now it's time for Mari and Basil. Get a load of this! Basil admits to not caring about consent and having a foot fetish while Mari admits to stealing her friend's belongings. We head on south to Basil's house and we get forced into a hide and seek match. Wow Kel, you a goddamn champ. We found everyone, no one missing, no one at all. Basil where the fuck are you? Oh, you're being kidnapped by the only person who is good at this game, great. This boss could be hard if I didn't already look at the type 1 mean emotion chart, so with a sad poem about his crippling steroid addiction and Kel acting like a child, we easily defeat them. Well it's a good thing Omori has a focus band or that would have been a wipe. So after deciding that the bully is too humiliated to do anything ever again, it's time for Basil's house, but not before looking at the allegory flowers and, and murder some lost children like it's five nights at Freddy's. Their father is bashing on the door and we kill him using the power of friendship. After dropping some pictures on the floor, plot happens, and we get sent to solitary confinement. Gonna need a tissue for that one. In the real world, we are Sunny, an anxious introverted muted shutout RPG maker protag with barely any personality. Relatable. Rude. Hey, I need to go get something to eat so can you please move, thank you. After we grab some breakfast, take a shit, and talk to the local pedophile, we go to bed. Ayo, pizza oh wait it's a map, damn it. Don't ruin the card game, I wanna play some damn poker for once. Oh that silly Basil, always getting lost. Ah oh, yes, bloody boot prints, the bestest of signs. Mari, don't hug me, we've been over this. We search for the Basil in his home and we find something disturbing, dust bunnies. We kick its ass and now it's time to find the Basil. Welcome to Pinwheel I mean, vast forest. A forest that is vast, very vast, with no worries at all. Isn't that right Nintendo? Oh shit, it's a copypasta, rated R. So Pinwheel Forest was a failure so we check up the comically long ladder with the only injury being Hero who needs a breather because his lungs are having a stroke. Welcome to Otherworld, it's quirky and that's all I got to say about this place. We talk to this sweetheart simp, recycle a can. Well I guess I know why people don't recycle here, and threaten a pirate with his life in order to check a house that probably doesn't have Basil. We also threaten a rabbit to go home, he's all mine, yeah shake that thing. We help a sprout mole get out of traffic, and now it's time for trespassing. Oh shit, space boy got that space covid and the only way to save him is with a mixtape of his favorite soundcloud rapper, wait, is soundcloud still a thing? Anyway, we decide to pick him up a new copy in the junkyard. After that we commit assault on an innocent helpless victim with Kel's infinite football attack, and no. Open sesame. After finding the tape and chasing this bitch around, it's time for a non-surprising surprising boss fight that was surprisingly easy. After that we help Pluto hide from the planet police and we unlock fast travel, force space cowboy up with 101 sad songs to piss off your ex, and now it's time for the space boy boss. I have Arby's use counter as space boy shoot a child and she punch him in the dick. Kel make the space boy angry so Omori could mock the fact that he looked like a space weeb lowering his attack. Space boy, being a sexist motherfucker, target the girl as Kel pisses himself. Omori read some cringe to make space boy sad, Arby's look at Kel to get pissed off, and hero feed Omori some save a ton soda. Despite his lowered speed, he still put a bullet in Kel before Kel could flex on a motherfucker. I don't know why a sad poem there, but at least Aubrey did something useful as hero heal her. Space boy, being an insult, keep attacking the girl as Kel kick his balls with his balls, Omori stab him in the kidney, Arbury delivery an okay gut punch, and Hero bop him on the snoot. 
After a few more turns of attack, enraging, and healing, Omori hit the weed pirate with a rubber band, and he gets so insulted by this, that he become permanently pissed off, which is a bit of a problem as the emotion that counter anger, happy, is unavailable for us and we're already taking heavy damage from this guy, I decide to stick with the plan but that damage is doing a number on us as we just chip his health down. The angry man sing the blues as Kel save Omori before Omori make fun of Space Cowboy's singing voice, Aubrey yeet a pack of Jackson no, don't ask why I thought that would've worked. Expecting Space Boy to go after Hero, I have Hero Guard and I'm a goddamn psychic. Kel annoy Hero out of his depression as Omori stab the Buzz Lightyear cosplayer and Orbi bash him over the head. He goes Super Saiyan and Gallic gun Kel to hit Phil. Omori heal Hero as Arbury slam the motherfucker and Hero pass the soda. Space Boy sing instead of murking someone as Omori mocked the fact that he lost his eye while trimming bushes, Arbury hit him in the fields, and Hero drag his brother out of hell. Expecting Space Boy to be predictable, I guard with Aubrey but he did literally nothing as Kel pull a Kel, Omori attack, and Hero heal. Space Boy dissociate and we all kick his ass. Finally, Space Boy attack someone and have the goal to get angry about it. Space Dude fire his gun wildly, killing a child as we mock his inability to aim. This next turn was a mistake, I accidentally hit Trip, with me I can't finish with the power of friendship, unless he shoot all of us and filling up the gauge, but I missed because I was unprepared but it was unnecessary as Arby's put him down. It's the first hard fight in the run, but we beat it on the first attempt. After remembering the plot we enter a... Hello? Y'all fucking ditch me goddamn, but at least we got our tentacle to keep us company. In the forest we get a mago smoothie and then we wake up to make some money on the crypto exchange. We get a choice of procrastinating or doing chores, okay choice might have been a bit of a stretch. Hobby shop? No wonder I haven't hung out with you guys in years. Also far away plaza? Where the hell are we? Harvest Moon. Laugh track. So Kel want to get Hero a gift and his first idea is to buy him drugs. I, not being a dumbass, decide on a better gift. Old Chip how to cook crack at your college campus, first addiction. I guess this is Kel's first encounter with inflation, and we found the basil. Plot twist, the final boss is Arby's and... We walk the damsel in distress home and the damsel get distressed because their photo album was stolen. Damn it, I thought this was gonna be a quick video. We pick up some trash, get scammed, and beat up some children for information, then beat up a child for information, but no lead. So we try the more ethical route of bribing kids with drugs before beating up children for information. We bust into a church and confront the converter, and get our asses beat, but we survive because dying is cringe. We bring Basil back their photo book, don't ask where it was when we found it. We look through the photo album and... I'm bored. No Basil, I wasn't about to cut your grandmother's life support, I swear. Basil went to take a shit and I followed him in because I don't respect people's privacy and everyone deserves to learn that. Man, that was an exhaustive day, sure hope that nothing happened when I get home. God damn it, it's haunted by demons again, lovely. Remember kids, the best way to deal with demons is to heal store until the Dexo Ex Machia give you a new ability that can screen nuke them. Back in the real world, Mari said we gotta kill some demon spiders, but first, we beat up a couple of simps and now it's time for spider forest. We slam a minecart through a massive boulder in a castle, that must be the location of the damsel. Oh, this is a massacre, well, at least it ain't a spider, well, that was piss easy. We enter a hollow night village and decide to watch some theater because fuck Basil. And fuck that guy, Zeus had some beef with him. We looney tunes a Venus dick plant, fix the power crisis, and Hero gets forced into a game show. So now we get introduced to Sweetheart, who is base as a motherfucker, and horny, but Hero ain't no simp, he's a certified chad, so we get locked in the dungeon. Okay, maybe not lock. It's time for Mori Gear Solid. After blowing up a turnip, we find the exit and pull some disguises out of our ass, destroy a statue, murder a snitch. Hero decided to bake a cake for some reason, and we all join in to help commit ethnic cleansing. We open a massive statue and, not believing in the art of running away, hide. Ah oh yes, we are so invisible in these hiding spaces. What the fuck Aubrey? And now we gotta kill the bride and the bride. I open with a fake smile from Hero to lower her attack as she swing her fucking mace around. Kel dosa Kel, Omori makes Sweetheart sad, and Arby's look at Kel to make the main attackers mad. Hero hit another fake smile as Kel miss and get slapped for his performance, Omori pack the fried potato sticks as Arby attack the bitch and then attack the bitch again. A third fake smile mutilates Sweetie's attack as Kel bring Omori into the anger squad, Sweetheart slap the smile as Omori slit her throat repeatedly with Arby slamming her fist in her wounds. Kel attack her as her laugh helped progress the anger squad as Omori slam his knife down her neck, however, she pop a molly and now our anger squad is a bit of a problem. 
Hero smiled for some reason and tank a slap as Kel was able to summon an emergency rain cloud. Omori sliced the overly excited donuts to bits before Aubrey smashed those bits into pieces. So it's time for backup sad strats. Aubrey ready a counter but Sweetheart is too happy to hit as Kel hit a curveball while Omori healed. Sweetheart AOE the entire team but it barely did any damage while Kel throw a tomato at Hero for doing nothing last turn, Omori cut the cookie into crumbles, and Aubrey hit that juice as Hero rolled some jacks. Sweetheart hit like a pillow as Kel hit another curveball and she pop another molly as Omori cut the doll's head off and Aubrey lower her defense. Aubrey ready a counter as Sweetheart took the bait as she clapped back with an actual bat, Kel mockingly consume a donut and now it's time for Omori to show off the power of friendship, the main damage dealer for sad strats as it always do a ton of damage and it benefit from a Stanley strategy that can withstand a ton of hits. Friendship does so much damage that it trigger her pie bowler, however, Omori have the ability to trigger the other half and Aubrey was able to send the bitch back to the Krispy Kreme's deep fryer. That was so much easier than Space Boy, and now it's time for... Oh. Hours later. After that, we... Close. ourselves into a hole. You're too slow! At the bottom, I rid some cringe YA, take the L, and we find the Basil, but get yeeted back to white space because the plot is a stubborn bitch. Suicide is bad air. No! We wake up to the loud wailing of a rampaging Kel. Yeah, I'm a Jacksepticeye fan, how could you tell? Kel, I hate to break it to you. But the main reason I haven't been answering your knocks for the past four years is because you smell like a person who's against the use of soap for religious reasons and think that Axe body spray and swimming in a nasty lake would cover up that fact. And this is coming from someone who haven't showered in days and been wearing the same clothes for a week straight. You know, if I knew that we were running errands, I might have just stay at home. After being used as a mental meat shield, Basil's carer barge into Kel's house and inform us that Basil went missing. Oh that silly Basil, always getting lost, always getting bullied by the wannabe cool kids. Fun fact, heal stall doesn't work when the enemy out damages your healing. However we decide to get over our differences and go swimming in the lean lake, but sadly some uncuttable seaweed cut our fun short. Hero arrive and help carry the sleepy Basil home before we abandon him to play with the neighbor's dog and steal their turkey. Wait, I have a piano. How the fuck am I packing that? Hero and Kel are witches. That's the only explanation for why they can build a fort like that in 5 seconds. Homie got that night quill and we get locked out of white space, lovely. Fuck you cards. I play hide and seek alone and find Mari, who inform me that everyone caught a nasty case of the basils and we need to find them. We swim our way to the Valley of Shadow People only to be stopped because we don't have the waterfall HM. We find a photo of Mari in her goth phase and find a convenience dock that told the laws of physics to go fuck itself. The ghost of Maria open a window which summon a whirlpool that sent me to my own private island, man where is Lassie when you need them. We carpool with a stranger and find Kel, who now have a job as a Walmart greeter because he's unqualified for anything else, and we convince Kel to ditch his job to help me convince other people to ditch their jobs. I grab a gentleman's disguise and... Oh, it's a living being, fuck. I help this thing fulfill their kink and it's time for the last resort. We take pee out of the toilet, eat some sushi in an elevator, and vibe with some people who are off the clock. We steal a keycard from a disabled employee, nearly wipe to the Kool-Aid man, and attempt to sneak an extra hour in the ball pit. When that fails, we head up to the fifth floor to save Aubrey from financial independence, and we get her fired by literally having Kel with us. Hero, you used to be base. What the fuck is this shit? Are you simping for Jawson? We snap some sense into Hero and he immediately becomes the base alpha Chad we all know him as. Fuck you! You fucking dick! However, Sigma Jawson is also based and decided to kill some children for the hell of it, but sadly, I was already spoiled for this fight, so Omori was able to swing his blade wildly and make soup out of Mr. Jawson. And now that we beat the boss we can. Wait? What? Oh shit. Can you at least let me change equipment and stuff? No? Shit. Hero smiles at Pluto as Kel snaps a rubber band. Omori makes a planet cry of cringe and Aubrey pisses her and Kel off with just a glance. Pluto punches Aubrey and Jesus fucking Christ. Kel hit Pluto with that fancy ball trick. Omori cut up some Pluto like he's steak. Aubrey slams her toy in his chest and Hero throws a cookie at Arby's. Hero hit another smile as Omori failed to depress the demoted planet but damn, that damage. Ow. After more damage, Pluto makes us motorboat his abs as we keep attacking the moon and healing. I make Hero sad but that ends up pointless as Pluto bashes the earth into us and Hero goes down, but another fancy ball trick and Pluto takes the L. That was a lot easier than I expected. Jawson prevents Pluto from setting up the Kel nuke and Hero continue his base train by calling his slave master a decent guy. After that, Arbit takes out her frustration on the barrel population and I got a pizza here. After Kel and Arbury draw a poorly designed Basil in a cheap Pinocchio costume, we hop on a taxi and pay the toll with the power of friendship. We find Sweetheart who decides to outdo Hero's baseness by divorcing her husband and building herself the ultimate himbo. 
Ma'am, I wish these tolls could be paid with the power of friendship. Time for the dangerous tunnel. Ah yes, my favorite toy, dynamite. Well, I guess Space Boy decides to become a starving artist, and we're gonna end up as starving artists ourselves with these rates. After crossing this annoying ass bridge, we cross another bridge, have a heart to heart about how generic Basil looks, and then get bored by a whale. After a little boat ride, we get eaten by an elevator and encounter Sweetheart and the three deck collectors. She makes a run for it but... <coughs> Sciences are willing to sell us to cover her debt. We say fuck no, and then they drag us to their dungeon in preparation to turn us into meat. I wrote a blog post a while ago about why I f***ing hate video games, because this is what it does, it appeals to, like the male fantasy. I open with Sad Hero pulling a fake smile as Kel hit them with the rubber band, Omori hit them with the existential crisis and then they eat a bunch of potion that forces us to change emotions, let's hope that this is just an opener and not something that we have to be concerned about for the whole fight. Omori being angry isn't the worst thing, but Hero being depressed could be a benefit if the juice loss doesn't fuck us up. Thankfully, there's some sort of hive mind so Kel's ball trick can do massive damage while Omori shuns the trio of thoughts. Hero still gets hit for a concerning amount as Aubrey throws her bat at them, which somehow did more damage than Hero's stick of dynamite. Hero then smiles to lower their attack as Kel punts a ball at them. They throw some bottles around, making themselves angry before causing massive damage to the team, with Hero going down, but wanting Omori sad, I depress them with another hit of Cthulhu as an enraging RB slammer flying bat into their teeth. Kel hit Hero with some last resort revival jam as Omori thrust his knife deep into their slimy cleavage and the Splatoon porn parody cut up a child with a chainsaw. Omori shuns the girls for improper use of a chainsaw and they switch our heart and juice around using some sort of voodoo magic before pulling Space Boy and attacking the girl again. Omori, outrunning the girls, hit Hero with that waffle and survived a chainsaw to the throat before Hero revive Aubrey with some of that homemade. Hero hit them with another attack drop as Kel flings a hot dog at Omori and now that everyone's alive for a turn, it's time for the friendship attack. But they somehow survive and playfully slap Hero as Arby's delivers one more bat to the face. Thinking that having the healer be able to outspeed the opponent can keep our team alive, Kel gives Hero some homebrew and Omori gives Aubrey a beauty tips for dummies book, which get him slapped by all the other women in the room before Arbury haul the brick of a book at them. Then they scream new card juice, pile drives our stats, and recklessly throw explosives all around the room. Because our speed was muted, the crazy sea creatures were able to dispatch Aubrey with a chainsaw as Hero hit everyone up with that melon smoothie and Omori roll up with a whole chicken. The slime girls throw up another bottle and... No 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 no! Wait, 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 wait. Well, this is going to be a pain in the ass. Attempt 2. Did you know that you can skip cutscenes by holding X? Found that one out on accident, and this attempt goes better as I don't have to wait for the whole fight to lose to RNG. If I'm not doing the math wrong, the chance for us to not get happy by this attack is 16%. Attempt 3. And they never used the green gas attack for some reason so we were able to get through this battle with no problem. Well, that's good. I was afraid this was gonna take hours of attempts. Humphrey, we can't show that on YouTube, you're gonna get my channel demonetized before it could even be monetized. You cannot oppress the fetishy on the younglings. It was their fault for being so wet and delectable. Now you're next to enter the slimy water slide and splash in the acidity of my stomach. Humphrey, you can't vore us, we're children. The FBI will be all up on your ass about this. That sound hot as hell you yummy little yum yums, but I like my sex meat will so be salty, be spicy, because you're going down all the same. So get your ass prepared because it's time to consume the coom. So we got this shit to deal with and if I was smart, I would have changed my equipment, but I didn't expect this fight so it's time to kill this mosh pit. Not knowing what Humpy will do, I use the try and true strategy of lowering attack with Hero, have Omori make him and the mob sad as fuck, and Arby's forget to not look at Kel to make both of them mad as hell. Hero does his thing on the Humpy and Humphrey ate a child's ass as Omori shuns the horrible pervert while Orby follows with a home run on one of the thousands of ass munchers. After beating up some dream stands for a couple of turns, they decide to transform into a Reddit moderation team. This mutated ball of unshowered depravity and questionable hiring practice was basically a punching bag that would sometime attack my team with unwanted advances, but we tank the hits and heal it off with little effort. After that, Humphrey, I said you can't show that on YouTube, what the fuck? Now, this is a battle with a literal wall as, besides this one massive attack in the beginning, he kept swallowing us whole with a small amount of AoE damage and since neither of us want to watch a 20 minutes battle against a whale intestine that posed no problem to the challenge where I resorted to sad stalling a wall because I never buy healing supplies when I should, I'm going to skip to the part where we slam a bowling ball into a whale's testicle and get jizz out of the 4 channel with the keys to his white van in the local crack house's basement. So that was a waste of fucking time, so we decide to do the logical thing and check for Basil at his fucking house, and holy shit, we found the basso wait, it's just the crappy pasta. 
Shadow Basil sends us to the Hell Dimension. Spooky. Yo, what's up? We found the Basil. Silly Basil, the watermelon was supposed to be destroyed, not your head. Time for the Red Dimension. Mmm, steak flavor ice, my favorite. Hey, we found the Basil. Seems like you forgot to watch out for the Black Quicksand, they're a bitch this time of year. Oh Basil, you're being pulled to hell by the hand of demons, you're so quirky. I then become Omori.exe and then become the emperor of the world and then torture my enemies and... You think I should get a prescription? Damn it Mari, I'm trying to get some sleep, got a big day tomorrow. Tomorrow. Kel, who the hell was that and why the fuck was she covered in a sticky white liquid? After breakfast we decide to trespass into Arby's house and I think her mother might have overdosed, well at least she got good taste in television, this hypnotoad episode is goated. We force ourselves into Aubrey's hideout and begin looking at pictures. Now with the gang back together, it's time to finally find Basil. Polly comes out and tell us that Basil is in the hospital. Because the grandma is sick, goddammit Polly, you made me think I got the bad ending. Oh my god it's a cat. Bro, what the fuck you mean the sun's about to set, we just woke up. We look at a stump and then climb up into the treehouse. There, Hero confronts me on stealing his old cookbooks, Kel injures himself, and look at this photograph. with a key. Arbury shows us a magic trick, she put a pinwheel on the silly stump, and it's time to find Basil. Oh hell yeah, unconsented sleepover, let us fucking go. And after downing a bottle of melatonin, we all pass out in Basil's living room. However, since we never enter Basil's room, we can't prove that he didn't sneak out the window, so the story continues. I guess the environmental artists went on holiday. Holy shit, we found the Basil. <coughs> hey mom, yeah, I went to Basil, hope you don't mind. We went on a scavenger hunt to find some photographs until we make it to the silly stump back when it was just a little sprout. Hey I know you probably get this a lot, but how's it hanging? Oh good it's unlocked, and we found the basil. Oh, you're being unconsentingly vored too? Well, hopefully the voring process won't loop over and over for a half an hour. And now it's time to fight the basil. We're a goddamn rebel in the motherfucking street jaywalking. Holy shit, we found the basil, sup basil. Listen, I've told you how much I hate hugs. Pet a kitty, find a secret door, and use a real key to open up a fake box to discover a terrible truth. We got the sheet music wet, fucking degent. Damn it, the environmental artists are sick again. And now it's time for the Omori fight, and I basically heal stall the bastard until the game gets fed up with my heal stalling techniques and we go down. Now, this is a very important moment. As in order to get the best ending, we must make the correct choice on this screen, and I think you can guess what you need to do to get the best ending. And with that, we've proved that, yes, you can beat Omori without being happy. Honestly, I thought this challenge would have been more of a bitch to complete, but strangely, there are no bosses that force you to be happy like they did with anger and sadness. Well, besides the RNG that the slime girls made us deal with, but anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to comment, subscribe, and share it with a friend and I'll hopefully see you next-